So when people talk about sugar, they usually focus on one thing, the health impacts. What kind of effect is it having? Addictive. And kids younger than two should have no sugar at all. And that's definitely an important thing to focus on. But what if there's another problem with sugar and it starts before it even leaves the factory? See, sugarcane is the world's largest crop by production volume. Almost 2 billion tonnes of it are produced worldwide yearly. And after it's processed, it leaves behind 600 million tonnes of this. It's called bagasse, a byproduct of the sugar industry. And most of it is burned to generate energy for sugar mills, releasing toxic gases into the air. But what if there was a better way to use all that waste and tackle another big polluter at the same time? Well, let me introduce you to something. Sugarcrete, a groundbreaking building material made from sugarcane waste. Developed at the University of East London in partnership with Tate and Lars Sugars and Grimshaw Architects, it's already winning Climate Innovation Awards and being piloted in real buildings. And in this video, we're going to find out how to turn this into this, and I'm even going to have a bash at making a block myself. So I went down to the University of East London to meet Alucci, a PhD researcher working on sugarcrete, to see how this waste could transform the way we build. So what is the problem with the way that we currently build? So the construction industry is responsible for about 40% of the worldwide CO2 emission. And that's wild. Yes, you heard that right, 40%. Nearly half of all the world's CO2 emissions come from the way we build. Think about that. Almost every other tonne of carbon in our atmosphere comes from construction alone. And a big part of that is down to materials like concrete and steel, which are extremely carbon intensive. Producing them means firing raw elements at incredibly high temperatures, and that takes a huge toll on the planet. We need to look at different ways of tackling this problem. And an intelligent way would be to look at waste management, particularly agro-waste management. And that's where Sugar Creek comes in. As you know, sugarcane is the most grown crop in the world. They produce about 2 billion tonnes wow. every year all around the world. And out of that, 30% is waste. So out of that 30% that is waste, around 50 to 70%, depending on the mill, they use to burn to produce energy for the mills. And then the leftover 30% is being used for other things. For instance, they can sell it to paper or packaging manufacturing companies or they can use it to make like bioplastics. The difference between those applications and sugarcrete is that applications that I told you quickly become waste themselves, mm. okay? And they do not retain carbon, while sugarcrete retain carbon the most. So it's a carbon locking project. It can stay as long as the life of the house. And at the end of the day, you, you can recycle the bricks to build a new house, or even crush the bricks to make brand new bricks. Isn't that fantastic? So it's a more of like a circular solution where the others kind of end up in landfill or burn anyway at the end of their life? Exactly. So we currently, the sugar industry is a linear diagram. So you take the crop, the sugar cane, you take it to the factory and whatever bagasse is left, you burn it. That's it. But what we're proposing now is that that 30%, you use it to make sugar cane bricks. You build affordable housing for people and when the, you, you're done with the house, you can reuse the bricks to build new houses or you can recycle the bricks bricks or crush it to make new bricks. Circular, from linear to circular. And the great thing is that with one meter cube of sugarcrete can entrap about 170 kilograms of CO2. So if you're building a normal bungalow, you could be saving about 120 tons of CO2. Sugarcrete is also helping in terms of social empowerment, empowerment of the community that would normally work in this plantation for probably maybe 10 months a year and then would have no job. So by with the Sugarcrete project, what we are doing is keeping these farmers employed rather than being jobless for a good amount of the year, they would be making these bricks and building these homes for them and their families. What areas of the world can benefit the most from this? Countries where sugarcane is grown. So countries like India, Brazil, along with China and Thailand and other countries as well. The process of making sugarcrete is very easy. You don't need a PhD. To test Alucci's theory that you don't need a PhD to make sugarcrete, which I certainly don't have, I decided to give it a go to see how easy it actually is to make. So Sam, are you ready to make some sugar cream? I'm ready. <laughs> Come in.
Now I need you to put in these gloves here because you're gonna get down. You're gonna okay. get dirty. <laughs> <laughs> quite a workout isn't it yeah to do a whole house doing it by hand would <laughs> take yeah, a while they wouldn't do it by hand they would do it with a mixer that's how that would be much more convenient Ta -da! beautiful <laughs> i didn't know i'd be working hard <laughs> So there we have it, my first brick made with sugarcrete, but one question I had for Aluchi was how much do these cost in comparison to standard bricks? So a brick like this is three times cheaper than the standard clay fired brick. And you can see it's, it's twice as big. So is this something that the everyday person could eventually get their hands on and we could see people building in their own backyards with sugarcrete? Absolutely. We definitely want people to be doing that. My dream, my goal is to build a library where people can assess you know, sugarcreen and tell the, this AI tool, for instance, the kind of building they want to build, where they want to build it, and this would tell them the type of ratio that they would need to use to build their house. In that way, anyone can make sugarcrete at home because sometimes it's very hard to find a solution that is cost effective that is quick but the solution is here sugarcrete is here is cheaper is low carbon and is easy to make compared to concrete so why not and what can people do to help support the sugarcrete project i think we all need to change our mindset the way we view building we need to start appreciating waste because waste is something valuable, especially agricultural waste. Waste is good. Building with waste intelligently is good. There's nothing wrong with that. So there we have it, buildings built using sugarcane. How awesome is that? Would you live in a house made from sugarcane? Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you have any more questions on this, there's a bunch we couldn't fit into this video. So drop the questions down below and me and Alucci will do our best to get back to you. If you want to see more episodes about innovations, helping to create a better planet, tap that like and subscribe button. And if you're feeling extra sweet, get it? Consider subscribing to me on Patreon or join as a YouTube member and you'll get access to exclusive content like the full interview I had with Alucci, plus a bunch more. I'll see you in the next one, my friend. Bye.